17 News is your local election headquarters. Governor Gavin Newsom and Democratic lawmakers have asked the California Supreme Court to remove a 2024 ballot measure that would make it tougher for state government to raise taxes. Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace shares why the governor believes the proposal should be taken off the ballot and joins us with reaction from supporters and opponents. Well, simply put, the governor believes the ballot measure will inhibit government from doing its job, but backers of the measure disagree. Less than a year from the November election, the fate of a ballot measure seeking to make it tougher for the legislature to increase taxes now rests in the hands of the California Supreme Court. Known by supporters as the Taxpayer Protection and Accountability Act, the measure already qualified for the ballot with more than one million signatures turned in. The proposal would require voters to approve every new state tax, state tax increase, and state fee and would change the voter threshold for local citizen-run tax initiatives from a simple majority to at least two-thirds majority needed to pass. But Governor Gavin Newsom and Democratic members of the legislature say the measure is illegal because they believe it would significantly alter the California state constitution and would prevent government from doing its job. That's why Newsom says he filed a lawsuit asking the California Supreme Court to consider removing the measure from the November 2024 ballot. Assembly Speaker Robert Rivas and Senate President Pro Tempore Tony Atkins say they are in agreement with Newsom, writing, quote, We are glad to see that this unlawful effort to revise our state constitution will be heard by the court. The amount of harm this measure could cause is vast and would hamper local government and our state's ability to function. It is the case that I think judges in general don't like to, to take proposals off the ballot. They like people to be able to weigh in. But... If this is not a proper ballot measure, then the judges do need to step in and say, this is unconstitutional under our state constitution. But backers of the ballot measure believe it is constitutional and should be left to voters to decide. If we get a fair shake before the California Supreme Court, then we should prevail. John Kupal is the president of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association. He argues the measure is necessary in a state he describes as overtaxed. These high taxes are a major driver of the cost of living. And at the end of the day, it is California's record high cost of living that is forcing people out of state. So absolutely, the Taxpayer Protection Act will be the first step in returning some fiscal sanity to the state of California. And the high court is expected to make a ruling by this summer. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.